In this video, I'm going to be showing you that how you can do a proper keyword research for your Amazon product. So first we need to understand that why we need to do a proper keyword research. It is because of that, we don't need our product to be ranked on only one keyword. We need our product to be ranked on all the relevant keywords that people are using to search that product. For example, if you are selling stainless steel spoon, so some people can search for that product by typing spoon, some people can search by typing stainless steel spoon, some people can search by metal spoon, some can search by metal crockery, stainless steel crockery, and so on. So if we want our product to be ranked on all the keywords that people are using to search that product, we need to do a proper keyword research. So for that, first we need to find out all the keywords and then we have to verify after analysis that either these keywords are having search volume or not. If yes, so we can use that keyword on the backend optimization of our listing or in the front-end SEO optimization in title, bullet points, and description. Or we can find out some keywords that are having low bids and low competition on PPC and we can use those keywords in the PPC campaign to optimize our campaign for low budget and high results. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you each step that how we can do keyword research and how we can shortlist those keywords. And I'll also show you all the tools that I personally use to do my keyword research. And these tools are best to get the Amazon data exactly. So once we find all the relevant keywords with high search volume regarding our product and we index and we optimize our listing according to those keywords, then our product will be start showing on all the keywords and we can get more and more traffic on our listing from multiple keywords. So more traffic means more sales. So this video is going to be super super important and informative for you. So make sure to watch this video till the end because I'm going to be explaining each and everything step by step. But before we start the video. I'm Uzair and I sell my products on Amazon, Shopify, ClickFunnel and Redbubble. And on this channel, I teach people like you that how you can do the same and build your business online. So if my content gives some real value to you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. So you will get notified in the future if I upload any content like this. So let's start the video. Alright, so as you can see on your screen that I have such a product garlic press on Amazon. And now for today's video, we will take this product as an example. So these are all the listing, all the sellers that are ranking on top 10 on this keyword. So first let's just check how much revenue they are generating. So we just go to there and click on Jungle Scout. And we can see that all these sellers are getting very good revenue. It is a high demand product, but the competition is also high. You can see the reviews. All sellers are having many reviews, like thousands of reviews. So if we uh, dive into this product, it will be very hard for us to compete in terms of reviews. So uh, we are taking this product as an example. We can see that all these sellers are having very good revenue, like $83,000, $8,000, $22,000, and even $163,000. So let's just open any of the competitor having high sales. So let's just open this one. They are having uh, 12,000 sales per month, and which is very good. So the next step is we have to go to jungloscout.com and we have to sign up for that and uh, if you are not having their account I have put the link in the description below so you can go from there and get the Jungle Scout and Helium 10 and then after logging to our Jungle Scout account we have to click on uh, keywords and then keyword scout. So from there we have to type our main keyword which is garlic press and from there we can see the Jungle Scout is fetching the data from Amazon. And here are all the keywords that are relevant to the product so we can just uh, do some analysis for, from there and then we can shortlist all those keywords that are um, beneficial for us so you can see that garlic press garlic mincer garlic chopper garlic peeler garlic crusher garlic press rocker pampered chef chopper garlic roaster garlic pressure so you can see all these keywords are super relevant for uh, this product and we can see the search volume as well so garlic press is having 93,000 search volume which is very high and uh, garlic uh, chopper is having 10,000 search volume all these keywords having search volume more than 1,000 are very beneficial for us so if we shortlist all those keywords and use all those keywords in the title and description and in bullet points on our listing that will be very beneficial for us to rank it so you can see that uh, Jungle Scout is also telling us the PPC bit, the exact PPC bit. Like if we uh, run our PPC manual campaign on this keyword, like on garlic chopper, so uh, we have to set a PPC bit like 0.69. So let me just tell you the PPC bit less than $1 is very good. But if we are uh, having some keywords having PPC bits more than $2 or $2.5, so that will be very bad. So 
uh, that type of PPC will only eat our money but uh, will not give us results. We have to try to uh, run our PPC manual campaign on the keyword having bit less than $1. So as you can see that these are the keywords that are super rele relevant to our product but that's not the end we have to double check that so we have to go our competitor listing and we have to just copy their ASIN and then we have to go to uh, helium 10 and this is another tool so if you are an amazon seller and you want your sale to be super high and you want to optimize your listing in terms of keywords or in terms of uh, like seo so you must need both these tools jungle scout and helium 10 i have put the link in the description below so you can get that so these are the two must have tools for all amazon seller they help a lot in keyword researching and ranking our product so when we log into helium 10 and we can go to like keyword research and the cerebro basically it is a helium 10 reverse ascent tool so we can just grab the ASIN of any competitor and then give it to Cerebro and then Cerebro will do the reverse ASIN of that uh, ASIN. So we will know that how many keywords are there in which that competitor is ranked on Amazon. So we can just change the country from UK to uh, uh, USA and then we can put the ASIN of that competitor and click on get keywords. So uh, uh, Helium 10 will show us all the keywords that our, uh, our competitor is using to rank on first page. So we can just see the results. Here are all the keywords. Uh, we can see that all the keywords are Amazon's choice keyword and the Helium 10 is showing all the data for this keyword. Like this, this is the search volume. Uh, these are competing products on that particular keyword and these are the uh, uh, number of giveaways we have to do in order to rank on that keyword. So we can see the top keywords that are having a higher search volume for that, that product is garlic mincer and garlic crusher. We can see that uh, 27,000 search volume of Helium 10 is very good and 13,000 search volume. And the good thing for Helium 10 is it shows us the past graph, the search volume graph history. So when we click on this icon, so we can see the graph of the past 12 months that how much searches this, pro this keyword is getting from past 12 months till now. So we can see that the graph is uh, not a seasonal graph and uh, uh, we can see that throughout the year this uh, keyword is having a good number of searches. So let's check for another keyword as well like garlic crusher and the same for that. So the graph is not uh, uh, very seasonal. Uh, this graph is uh, showing that this product is having demand throughout the year. We can just shortlist some keyword from here and we can just shortlist from uh, some keyword here. And then after collecting all those keywords from these two tools, uh, make sure to save this keyword in a file like on a, a WordPad or Notepad and then go on Amazon and type all the keywords one by one on the search and see if all the keywords are relevant or not. So uh, for example, we just uh, uh, check this one, garlic crusher and copy this one and paste on Amazon. So we can see that while typing this keyword while searching garlic crusher we can see all the products relevant to our product if yes then that means it is a relevant keyword but for example if we search a keyword and product that comes in the search are different from our product that means it is not a relevant keyword so first of all we need to pick some keyword from jungle scout and helium 10 then we have to shortlist all those keywords uh, by checking that they are are they relevant or not and after that we have to index all those keywords in the backend search term and uh, uh, in listing optimization we have to put those keywords into the title description and in bullet points of our listing so i'll show you that in a moment so first of all uh, let's just open any competitor like this one we have already opened there so for example uh, here we can see garlic crusher uh, garlic press stainless steel garlic press blue so you can verify all those keywords from there that you have just a uh, short list so you can just start reading the description and uh, title and bullet point of your competitor and you can see all the keyword in the description in the uh, bullet points and the title of your competitor like you can see garlic press stainless steel mincer crusher and peeler so these are all the keyword that we have just found out from the helium and jungle scout so they have uh, inserted all these keyword into the title into the bullet point we can just uh, read any of the bullet point like you can see the garlic press stainless steel rust proof uh, garlic press crushed food and the uh, garlic press roller so you can see that how uh, they index the keyword into their listing bullet points and title and let's just read the description when we read the description they must be index all those keyword here as well you can see that garlic press you can see that minced garlic and garlic peeler so all these keyword so when you find out all the keyword and you double check all the keyword by typing on Amazon that they are super relevant to your product 
So then you can uh, index all those keywords into your title, into your bullet point and into your description to rank your product on those keywords. And for the backend search term, I'm showing you that how you can put your keyword on the backend of your listing so you can optimize your listing from backend as well. So when you go to your sellercentral.com and go to a uh, manage inventory, then you have to click on the edit on the listing in which you have to index your keyword on the backend search term. So when we click on edit, we can see this page and then we have to click on keywords and then you can see their search term. So uh, Amazon will allow us to uh, put the search term keyword of about 250 alphabets. So we have to insert all the keyword here and then click save and finish. Then we will be able to index all those relevant keyword into the backend search term of our product. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment box below. And if you want to get Jungle Scout and Helium 10 for your product research, then I have put the link in the description below so you can go there and check it out. And don't forget to get the free ebook copy that I have for you in the description below. Go there, get your book, read that book and start your business online. And if you like my video and my content gives some real value to you, then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as well. So let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.